Hi, welcome back. So I'm Alonso. I work at Aria Solutions. We are one of the first Amazon Connect partners. And we have been working with Amazon Connect for the last year. So this is the third part of a series of how to use Amazon Connect. So in our current project, we started creating our Amazon Connect instance. Then we created a tone-based IVR and assigned a phone number to it. In our second part, we integrated Amazon Connect with Lex to get voice recognition. So in this part, I think that is, it would be nice to integrate to the external world using Lambda. So we are going to create a contact list. So when people call, they are going to go through Lex to figure out where they want to go. And then we're going to save that into Dynamo. So that next time that they call, they don't need to go through Lex again. We can just transfer directly. To get started, we need to go and create our Amazon Connect role that our Lambda will be using. So we go to I am roles, create a new role, Lambda. So here we need to select two things, basic execution. So we can see logs in CloudWatch and Dynamo. We need access to Dynamo. So this is going to be called Lambda Dynamo. Create. So other than that, we need to go to Dynamo and create our new table, which is going to be called contact list. We hit partition key origin. I think that five units is quite a bit for a demo, so I change that to one instead. Okay, so now we can go ahead to Lambda and create our function. Create function. It's going to be called family observe. Today we're going to be using Python and the role is Lambda Dynamo. So this will create a fresh function. So the code that we'll be using today is this one. So it's quite simple. It's just query or update, depending on transfer to. If transfer to is on the parameters, it's going to update. Else is going to query. The JSON object that Amazon Connect is sending is this one. It has details like the customer endpoint or system endpoint, which is the phone number that the user dialed to. On top of that, there is parameters. Parameters are set dynamically by the call flow. So in our case, we're going to be sending transfer to like this. That's one, five, 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 five. Bye bye. So this is put a new item. Okay, so let's copy the code and paste it into Lambda. We save, um, that's it. So now that we have the Lambda, there is a problem. Amazon Connect is not allowed to execute your private Lambda. So the next step is to actually create another Lambda that will allow this Lambda to be executed by Amazon Connect. So let's go ahead and create the new role for the other Lambda. Role, create a new role, Lambda. So this one will, be need, will need access to Lambda. And it's going to be called Lambda Admin. Okay, so now we can go ahead and create our Lambda. So 
So the function that is calling is add permission, which is basically let something else execute this lambda. And this is the code. Add permission. The action is invoke the function name, who is going to be allowed to, and from what account ID. So you can get your own account ID here. This is where your Amazon Connect instance is installed. So copy this and paste it into Lambda. So now we need to execute it by testing it. It doesn't matter what we put here because all the parameters are set already. So we test and that's it. Now Amazon Connect is allowed to execute our function. So let's go back to family observe function and copy this. We will need this. Um, so now we can go ahead and update our Kofo with the new Lambda integration. Login. Contact flows. And speech. So now there are two phases here. One is we need to query if there is a record on Dynamo with this phone number. So for that, we execute invoke lambda with the observe function. So now if there is an error, it means that there is not an item. But if succeed, we will transfer to that specific phone number. So Amazon Connect has a special key is the dollar sign. The dollar sign represents the context of the call flow. And external is a reserve word that is the return of the last Lambda execution. So in our case is our observe function. And we are sending back transfer to. So that's it. This means that we're gonna transfer to the field transfer to from the Lambda. And then all our call flow needs to end on disconnect. I haven't seen this error being executed. So. so that was the first part. Now we want to update Dynamo with the result of Lex. So we will need to execute for Lambda integrations depending on the results. And all of them are going to be calling the same lambda that we created. And they will need the parameter transfer to. So this one is for pop. Transfer to. This one is for Pamela. This one is for Michael. And the last one is for Jennifer. So we put everything together and that's it. We save and publish. So now it's just a matter of minutes for the changes to propagate. What can I do for you? Can I talk to Bob? Calling Bob. 
Hi, this is Bob. So now that we got to Bob, if we try to call again, we should get to Bob right away, not going through Lex. Hi, this is Bob. And that's it. So to summarize, we started creating two Lambda functions, one for the observer to Dynamo and another that allows Amazon Connect to execute the Lambda. Then we went to Amazon Connect and updated our code flow with the observer before, which is a query, and the observer after, which is the update. So hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.